All right, folks, Bob McCarthy here for the 2019 Northeast Comic Con. I'm here with the one and only, the king of pop culture, Gary Somers. Gary, how's it going here today, brother? Hello, how about having a groovy time? How about you? I'm having a fantastic time now that you're here. Guaranteed, not boring. And we prove it every time. We've got a great variety of vendors, awesome artists, some celebrity guests, lots of cosplayers, and more stuff than brains. Now, you know everything. You're the, called the king of pop culture. You've been on the Antique Road Show. You've been an appraiser of all the great collectors and things like that. What are some of the cool things that you've seen here today that you might not have seen in a while? Today here? Yes, yes. Oh, there's incredibly cool vintage Star Wars stuff, mint in box. There's awesome Transformers mint in box, tin toys, you know, real vintage stuff you could break easily and or cut yourself with, things that, you know, parents today wouldn't let you play with. Of course... We also have action figures. Hey, we! Duh. And uh, <laughs> lots of fun stuff. Records, toys, comic books galore. Rare comics, uh, reasonably priced. So most importantly, we have great concerts. Guello last night. Tonight, Army of Broken Toys performing. The Nightmare Before Christmas in Costume Live. Authorized by Danny Elfman, great musician. Going to be a great show. Uh, did I mention not boring? Not boring. Guaranteed. So come to the show Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Our show's in 2020. We're the holiday show now. We do Independence Day. We do St. Patrick's Day. We do Thanksgiving. Come and party with us instead of your family. We're the excuse to not be with your family on holidays. And that's a great... We need a reason to get out of the house, you know, get away from them, you know what I mean? And Gary's the reason. So you blame Gary why we're getting out of the house early. Put it on your schedule now. I talked to Charles Shaughnessy. I saw the video that he did talking about karaoke, Let It Be by the Beatles. What did you think about that video? Charles was incredible, right? He was an awesome performer. He's going to perform tonight. You got to see it. Don't be late. Now, you've had a lot of famous friends that you bring to all your conventions. They're not just guests. They're friends of yours, people that you know in the Hollywood industry. And a lot of famous people have made, unfortunately, their last appearance with you. We're talking about Adam West, uh, Batman. Can you tell us what was like your, your weekend, your time with your good friend Adam West that you shared with him and the memories you had with him before we lost the great uh, Batman? Well, it was interesting because... I met Adam West in 1985 when someone gave me his phone number because I thought, wow, I'd really like to have Adam West come to my comic show. It was a collectibles extravaganza in Woburn, Mass. And I actually got Adam West on the phone. And I was just like, oh, my God, I'm talking to Adam West. And I says, would you come to do one an autograph show? He goes, well, I'm not wearing the damn costume. I says, no, Adam, you just come and sign autographs. Well, you think anybody would come and see me? And I go, yeah, and we're going to charge $10 an autograph. Oh, you think anyone would pay that? I says, Adam, I guarantee you they will. At the end of the first day in 1985, he had a 1,000 people walk by him and thank him for being him. Didn't expect the costume, just, and he was in tears almost at the end. He goes, Gary, can we do this every week? I says, we'll do our best, you know, and put him on the road with an uh, agent, got him set up with a lot of people so that he could, you know, do what made him happy, which was to meet fans and shake their hands and hear their, their good stories. Believe it or not, he enjoyed that. One down the road, you got agents and lawyer agents and all that stuff that turned it into being a business, and so... At the end, uh, I didn't know he was ill. He, uh, I contacted him when we moved to the Hanover Mall show, and I says, Adam, I said to the agent, can you ask Adam to do this show for me? Mm -hmm. Well, only if you bring Bert. Okay, bring Bert. So I brought both of them in. Adam and I spent the many hours together during that weekend. He was healthy, happy, and he says to me, oh, well, Gary, I think I'm going to be retiring from this uh I, you know, this is just grow the, the travel. I just, you know, I said, so what are you going to do? You going to go s s trout fishing the rest of your life? You going to die out in a trout stream? Do you even have a cell phone? He says, nope. I go out there and I'm away from everybody and I don't care. He had made peace in his life. He had no bitterness. He was the happiest human being that I'd known to go through all of that in Hollywood. The biggest star down to has been to be fired of being the voice of Batman on a cartoon was like the bottom. And then he came back, family guy and everything else. He made himself happy. And that's really what made me happy was I helped him achieve that happiness. Adam West, great human being, American hero. Yeah, that, that's incredible. And let me ask you, did he have a red phone? Did we know about, was a cell phone red? Did he have a red phone at home? 
No, he had Alfred make the calls for him. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And what about Mickey Dolans of the Monkees? You're one of the last guys that brought him down here. No, he's still alive. Mickey's on tour. Don't yeah, don't yeah. do. Mickey that. is alive. No, I meant to say that he was alive. I was thinking of Peter Tork. Peter Tork, I didn't do business okay. with, but yeah. Mickey is still a dear friend, and we'll have him back. I'm and we sure get the next new guy year. from the new Monkees here today, right? Marty Ross. That's a good is segue. Her. Marty go, Ross is in here. Go see Marty. Go, go see, see Mar Denny Lane from yeah. the Moody Blues. Yep. Go see Brianna Densky. She's in the yep. new movie Wonder Park. Yep. She's going to be a big star someday. Yep. You get to meet her here today now. Right. Ops and awesome. then definitely uh, get to see um, all the artists because they are the ones, the artists and writers make the stories that we end up seeing on TV and in movies. So yeah. go meet the writers, go meet the artists. We'll do it. I know they're calling your name. they got to have they them, folks, man. Me. That's right. We're going to take you more. Check out more here. Northeast Comic Con with Gary, the king of pop culture. Guaranteed not boring and free parking. What's going on, guys? We're here at Ge we're here with Geek Speak here at Northeast Comic Con 2019, as well as the one and only Wookie Chewbacca. <laughs> How's it going, Chewbacca? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Where's uh, where's uh, where's Han? How's he doing? Han's old news. Han's old news. That's right. Well, if you had to say, what are your thoughts on the Mandalorian? I haven't seen it yet. Definitely in the queue, though. No. All right, and what are your thoughts on the rise of Skywalker coming out soon? Looking forward to seeing it. What about you, Dad? All right, guys. Well, that is it for this little interview. Have a good time here at Northeast Comic Con 2019. I'm Jordan Murdoch with Geek Speak, signing out. All right, folks, I'm joined right now with Kim with Kim's Good Crafts and her assistant, Ange. You guys having a great time today or what? Awesome time, awesome time. I'm hoping maybe someday you'll come by and craft with me and you can get your hands dirty. Would you like to join me one of these days? I would love to get my hands dirty with you. Awesome, awesome. Now, would you like wrestling types of crafts? What kinds of crafts do you like to do? Oh, wrestling would be great, yeah. You're a big good. wrestling fan. Now, who is one of your favorites? Oh, geez, we can go on and on. We're Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, I mean, you name it, right? Oh, so we Hulk Hogan, you know we get some awesome crafts for that. Now, are we going to do some woo-woos in the old school and maybe make you a nice lapel for you? Wow, see, she's really thought this out, huh? This is a fun thing. This is something that we love to do, so you need to come on down to Northeast Comic Con and come to Kim's Gut Crafts because we have some great fun for you and you'll be joining me later on another segment correct? yes yes so i mean where can people find your website about all your crafts and everything online oh that's easy go to youtube and kim's gut crafts kim l if you want to look it up kim the artist i'm on facebook also under kim's gut crafts and you can find the link also on northeast comic con it always links you to the we, look, we have a special, specially. Look at this. We got a run in right here. Look what we got here. Kim's Good Crafts right here. You know, her minions or Kenyans have already come in. Ange, uh, how you like being today's event? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. I've been doing it uh, the past couple times now, and I, I just love doing it. It's so much fun to be you got with. Chewbacca and Batman. Everybody's here, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's just so much fun to see everybody. And, and making crafts and promoting Kim's Crafts, right? Yeah. It's yep. just so much fun. I love it. And you know what? You get you got to come by next time because we love to do the cosplay parade. The kids love it. Come on down. We have a nice potty train going on. And maybe we'll get you to join in. Absolutely. Also. Yep. So thank I love dressing up. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for being with us. All right, right folks. Remember to check out Kim's Crafts right here. Northeast Comic Con and online. Check it out. All right, folks, I'm joined right now with my good friend, WWE Hall of Famer, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and it's so great to call him that, Brother Brutai. It is such an honor. I've been interviewing you so many years. I've known you about 20 years now. I've interviewed you. I remember the last time was in Woburn, and you go, you know what, brother? I think it's this is my year. It was this year, 2019. You went into the WWE Hall of Fame. Let me first ask you, what was it like coming back to WWE, greeting Vince and all the guys after so many years? It was a trip, man. I haven't seen Vince in a long time. You know, I've run into Stephanie and Shane and a few times here and there, but I hadn't seen Vince in a long time. So it was definitely a, definitely a real experience. How was the conversation? Like, hey, Brother Brudai, good to see you. Like old times, yeah, right? Well, yeah, he, he was so busy that day. He, didn't give, he couldn't give anybody too much time. But uh, we chatted for a minute, you know, and he, he gave me a big hug and everything. It was pretty cool. 
That's awesome. And you had your best friend, the immortal Hulk Hogan, come out, come down and immortalize you into the 2019 Hall of Fame. It's a good thing that Bret Hart attacker, he wasn't going after you. No, because he knows he wouldn't be able to take the barber. Uh, how does it like having Hulk uh, put you in the Hall of Fame this year? Uh, it was great, man. It was it was uh, it worked out good for him, too. You know, he hadn't been around in a long time and he got to walk back on stage and uh, introduce me. And, and um, nobody there were, nobody else had a, an introduction that day. But but me. So it, it was all it was all very good. And then the grand finale, you returned to WrestleMania, an event that you made so famous, so popular. Your matches, the Dream Team against the British Bulldogs, or you got against Mr. Perfect when you ended the streak in WrestleMania 6. What was it like returning to WrestleMania? All those fans there, what an incredible moment that was. Well, there's some definitely real good memories of when it comes to WrestleMania, because I did quite a few of them, like seven. Seven out of the first nine. And, uh, you know, Russell, WrestleMania, uh, at the first one, no doubt. B being in on the very first WrestleMania and then going out on the ninth WrestleMania, you know, getting our hands raised, going out on top. You know, you are talking to the, one of the only guys, WWE history, who has never been pinned in a WrestleMania. Wow. Did not know that. Yeah, that's a little fun fact that's for you, That's a little baby. fun fact right Even, there, brother. Hey, Hogan can't say that. Warrior, Piper, Undertaker. You're undefeated. So Brutus has got the undefeated streak. Is that, well, is that what we're saying? Never been pinned in a WrestleMania. Pinned. Wow. All them guys I mentioned, all been pinned. One, two, three. Never happened to Brutus. <laughs> all right, folks. Right here, the living legend. He is now the WWE Hall of Famer, the one and only Brutus the Barber Beefcake. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Geek Speak. We're here at Northeast Comic Con 2019, and I'm here with Harley Quinn straight out of Arkham Asylum. No, I'm not in Arkham. I haven't been in Arkham for a while. No? No? Nah. Well, hey, how do you like your new show that just came out on DC Universe? It's all right. I mean, it's good that uh, she's emancipated like I am. You know, no longer with that nasty old clown. That's good. Yeah, the birds of prey. And also, what do you think about the new movie coming out? It's going to be amazing. No one's gonna I, for it. I am definitely going to say I agree with that. So, as we all know, every hero is just as good as their, is without their villain or with their villain. Um, we're going to have a little game. We're going to call it Antagonize here. And we're going to see how well you know your villains of many pop culture... Uh, genres where it comes from movies, anime, whatever it may be. So are you ready? Is the answer Batman? Close. <laughs> no, it's uh, Bruce Wayne. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> no, so I got some billionaire. I some billionaire, Playboy philanthropist, you know, who knows. So we got the first picture here. I'm going to show it to the camera and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Sound good? So first character. All right, you, get, you have two passes also, I should note. So if you can get these, you are tr a certified villain. All right, he's an anime boy. I'm telling you again. Sounds good. white haired anime boy. I don't know, maybe he's a Dracula or something. All right, that one is wrong. We're going to go to the next one. Oh, he's a green-headed, baldy guy. So here's the picture. All right, next up. She is. She's like a mom. Looks like maybe she'd be Ivy's mom. She's pretty and she's got roses. She has good yeah. hair too. So here's the next one. I'm gonna say not a villain. All right, next up. Um, he's like the hooded. I wish I was vain, but probably Scarecrow. Here it is. A little difficult to see. Or like when Scarecrow was going through that phase where he thought he was like an executioner guy. There you go. Next up. Oh, that's Johnny Depp. I see him all the time. He's like in everything. All right. Oh, that's that pink thing from the Crystal Gems. All right. And she's got pigtails, so she can't be bad. <laughs> and they always end up being friends in those things, so. Mm. That's purple uh, grape face. All got, right. Like, jewelry like me. So far, so good. Um, I don't know, but he's got one of them villain beardy things, so like, 
like a typical James Bond villain, right? Yeah, maybe, but he's more like the evil twin of something, like Cartman's evil twin or something. Like, he's got the goatee, you know, so he's probably, like, from another dimension, and he's, like, in here being evil. Yeah, who knows? I don't know at all. Oh, he's got pretty eyes. Oh, he's handsome. He's probably not that bad. All right, here's the next one. Or the one we were just uh, mentioning. Next up. Oh, I really don't know all these anime boys. Look at this. He doesn't even have shoes on. What's he doing? All right, here he is. We'll see if you guys back at home can uh, catch up who they are. Last one. Ooh, he's got all the sharks around him. That's Aquaman. Aquaman's that guy. All right. So, for the most part, sorry to say you got none of them right. You got the last one right, actually. See? You were, you were close. Good. You were close. But, yeah, thank you very much, Harley, for your awesome time here at Northeast Comic Con. Mm. Yeah, no problem. Love All right. Time. That's a wrap for this one, guys. We'll see you guys back here at Northeast Comic Con 2019.